G'day, my name's Russ Weekly from Max Design. I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration of scalable background images using CSS. On a recent website, we required a block of logos to be displayed as a single background image. As the site was responsive, I wanted to be able to swap different background images in at different screen sizes. And most importantly, I wanted these background images to be responsive so they could rescale as needed to fit the viewports. Now the challenge, as you'll see in a second, is how to determine the height for the background image container when the widths are constantly changing. Here's our HTML page, and as you can see we have a div with a class of partners. Now we're going to use that as a container to drop in our various background images. And here's our CSS file, and you can see we have a couple of simple base styles in here. But this is the class we want to focus on, dot partners. We have a background image, and at present we're using XS for the extra small one. Background repeat set to no repeat. At the moment I've got a background color of black just so we can see what's going to go wrong. And we have a default height of 500px. Now as we move up in screen sizes, the next breakpoint, we're changing the background image to small, and then medium, and then wide. So let's go and have a look at it before we add our extra styles. So here's our layout, and as you can see, there's a large area of black, which we don't want. That means the container is far too deep for this image. So that's our first problem. The second problem is that the logos are getting cut off as we move through the different sizes. So how do we solve this first problem about getting cut off? Under Partners, we can add new property. Background Size, Contain. Let's have a look. And straight away, as we scroll in, you'll see that our images are now resizing within the container. And the reason is that Contain actually forces those images to be contained within the space. And now we have to solve this height issue. And this is where it gets more tricky. What we really need is this height to adjust based on the width. Because as you can see here, it's actually changing as the viewport changes. Now how do we do that? Well, oddly enough, we're going to use padding bottom on the element in order to do this. Now to solve our height issue, the first thing we're going to do is take off this initial height of 500px. We don't want that at all. And I'm going to scroll right down to the widescreen and demo our approach. And initially, I'm just going to demo it with padding bottom 50%. And if we go and reload, what's actually happening is this padding bottom is being added to the element, which actually now has no height. 50% padding bottom will be 50% of the width. So if you imagine drawing an arc up here, you will see that the height is 50% of the width. Now it turns out that we can actually work out the ratio of the width to the height and then give it as a percentage. The height of our wide background image is 180px by 1140. And it turns out the ratio is 15.79%. In other words, the height is 15, or roughly 15% of the width. So we can use that measurement as our padding bottom. And if we reload, straight away, the height now is relative to the width. Now, we can copy this and add it up above. And this is for our medium one, and what we have here is the width is 900, the height of the image is 260, so the percentage is actually 28.89. And if we reload and go into our medium size, you'll see that that one's now working as well. What we shouldn't be seeing is any black down here at all. Again, we can copy this. The width of that image is 660, the height is 340, so the padding bottom should be 51.52. Now if we reload again and move in, you'll see that now our small image is working. So we have our small, medium and wide are all scaling correctly. Again we can copy that and we'll put it up under our base one. It has a width of 420, 
a height of 500, so the padding is going to be 119.05%. And if we reload and move our viewport in, you'll see that our background image is working on the small size as well. So we have extra small, small, medium, and large. And what this allows us to do is to create a container that will always resize to exactly suit the needs of our background images.